Welcome to Family Feudalism. Our host is the one and only Julia Moore. Our contestants are Jiho, Sam, and Jamie. The first question is for Jiho. What is the order of the feudal pyramid? I think I know. It's monarchs, nobles, knights, peasants, and serfs. That's correct. That is worth 100 points. Yeah. Okay, the next question is for Jamie. What do free peasants give to the feudal system? I think I know. Free peasants work at the Lord's lands and supply their food and resources for the rest of the feudalism system. You got it right. I mean, go. everyone's doing so great so far. Question number three is for Jiho, and it is, what do peasants receive in the feudal system? Peasants receive protection from attacks and land to do labor. That's correct! <laughs> okay, the next question is for Jamie. Jamie, what do lords receive from the feudal system? A chicken. Ooh, that is incorrect. The right answer is lords receive protection, supplies, fiefs, and money from the taxes. Question number five is for Sam. What do lords give to the feudal system? Oh, I know. Lords manage and defend its land, give fiefs to vassals like knights in return for loyalty, and help with order. That's correct. The next question is for Sam. What is the relationship between the groups? Hmm. The relationship is mainly a lord and vassal relationship. This is when lords give vassal fiefs or pieces of land, and vassals give lords supplies, loyalty, and protection in return. That's correct. What are the lords' responsibilities in the feudal system? The lords' responsibilities to manage land, act as a judge for manor, and give out taxes and some fees. That's correct. What is the code that knights have to live by? Knights live by bravery? Ooh, that answer is incorrect. Knights actually live by the code of chivalry. The c -c -c code What do monarchs give to the feudal system? Monarchs give land and order to the feudal system. They also give fiefs to their vassals. That's correct. It's time for an admission. What do monarchs receive in the feudal system? Monarchs receive protection, food resources, and loyalty. That's correct. What do knights give to the feudal system? Knights provide protection to the lord and the lord's manor. They live by the code of chivalry. That's correct. What is the importance of a manor? So the manor is a community in which there's a lord and like a church and where the villagers live in and there's a manor house where when the city is like under protection, the like the villagers and the farmers and all those people go into the manor house for protection while they're in trouble. And the manor house also acts as like a judge court where the lord acts as the judge and <laughs> Some more powerful lords lived in castles and had moats that were water so to protect them from the Vikings. What do knights receive from the feudal system? Knights receive rewards for their service and loyalty to the lords, like land, food, and respect. Why is the feudal system needed? To provide protection and stability to Western Europe. What are the ladies' responsibilities in the feudal system? Fire department valve. <laughs> That answer was on fire, but it's incorrect. The correct answer is the lady's responsibilities is to watch the children, sometimes to manage the land if the lords are gone, to teach pages how to act as a knight, and to do other stuff just around the house. Okay, last question for the day. Why did the people need protection? The villagers needed protection because they were under constant attacks from Vikings, Magyars, and Muslims.
And the winner is Jiha, who got every single question correct. Congratulations, Jiha. That is the end of our game show. Thank you for watching, and join us next time on Family Feudalism. You're filming my legs. No, I'm not. So what? I have to do my